Samsung has already planted their name in the TV industry as one of the very best to provide us with the finest visual experiences we can get in our homes with their line of TVs. And now, we have Samsung's The Frame TV, which is not just an ordinary TV, but it's also a piece of art. Hey guys, Andre here, and you're watching TechLocal. Samsung's The Frame is the perfect addition to your home setup. It's a 4K QLED Smart TV, which is designed to blend in our home's furnishings with its artistic design, putting an end to the eyesore of having a black TV box. Without attaching its external frame, it looks like a typical TV. But having it installed, it drastically transforms this into a picturesque piece of furniture. Obviously, there's a lot of thought that went into this design. This frame attachment magnetically attaches to the sides of your TV with very little effort. That's it. You can easily swap out frame attachments, which you can get in a variety of colors. Ideally, this TV is intended to be wall-mounted, and among the most notable features of this TV is how Samsung designed this to be mounted. Inside its package, you get the mounting kit, which allows the frame to be wall-mounted with no gaps on your wall, making this a seamless part of any living room. And for people like us who aren't able to mount it on the wall, we do have a set of legs that we can easily snap on for it to stand firm. It's not as nice looking, but it gets the job done. But of course, no art piece would be cut with ugly cables hanging around it. And well, Samsung has also designed a way to eliminate that. And that is through their One Connect box. This acts as a central hub where you can plug external sources such as gaming consoles, TV boxes, USB dongles, and other compatible devices. This attaches to the TV through a very slim and transparent cable which can easily be hidden from the viewer's sight. Present at the back of the One Connect box are four HDMI ports, a LAN port, optical audio, and antenna port, while on its side are two USB-A ports. Now, to truly turn this TV into a living piece of art, this has a feature called Art Mode. This makes it so that with a press of the power button while it's turned on, you are brought to its mode where the TV displays artworks made by artists around the world. Meaning, when the TV is off, Art Mode is on. We have paintings and photographs to choose from, but we are limited only to a few choices. Through a subscription service though, users will be able to unlock more than a thousand beautiful images to display. Art mode is arguably one of the frame's appeal, especially since you can also include your own personal artwork or, if you're a photographer, photos to be displayed by uploading it using the app on your phone. To add to that, this TV features a matte anti-glare display, so you won't see any glare that would ruin these images and pretty much eliminate unwanted reflections. And if you're wondering about power consumption, while being a QLED display already makes this a power-efficient TV, Art Mode runs at a much lower brightness and power mode, so users don't have to worry about power bills getting high. The frame runs on Samsung's Tizen OS, and quite frankly, it's one of the nicest user experiences I've ever had on any smart TV. It's easy to navigate, run smoothly, and all apps that we mostly need are already available. We have Netflix, Disney+, Plus, Prime Video, and many more. And all of these are integrated into Tizen's UI, making the experience feel more centralized as possible. Suggested content for what to watch next are displayed on this home screen. You can also use Samsung's assistant, Bixby, by simply pressing the microphone button on the included remote and then simply saying what you want to play or even search the web with it. Search YouTube for the Mario movie. The included remote is also quite noteworthy, being very simple to navigate and it charges via USB-C. Or if you want, just leave it beside the window and let it charge through its solar panel. Viewing angles on this TV are excellent. Being a QLED panel, blacks are as black as it can get, and colors are vibrant and lively. By sheer image quality, this TV is a great way to relax, get our mind off of things, and enjoy the day if we ever don't feel like being responsible. By default, its dynamic picture mode did have blur reduction turned on, which really isn't my thing because I like watching movies as they were intended to by the director. Thankfully, that can easily be turned off in the settings or just switch it to its film mode to make it look more cinematic. Now, talking about its sound quality, on its own, the TV doesn't sound half bad. Well, 
It's definitely better than what I was using. But to truly elevate the experience, Samsung often offers the Samsung Lifestyle soundbar to pair this with, to give the extra boost in clarity and bass. And I can say, with this combination, it's a huge difference from the built-in speakers. This TV really does turn everything to art, from its ability to show photos down to the image that it produces for watching our favorite films. But it's still not for everyone. So the question still remains, who is Samsung's The Frame for? If you're into aesthetics, I don't think that this is still a question that needs to be asked. And much more if you are an artist yourself and you'd want to display your own art or you appreciate art and you'd want your home to showcase that. And to be honest, I really think that more of us should have a deeper appreciation of art. And if you're already part of that, then definitely Samsung's The Frame is for you. That is, if you are willing to pay the premium price that it is going for. Though, if you're after great image quality for watching movies, this will give you that. But I also highly recommend that you check out Samsung's QLED and Neo QLED line as those are one of the best right now. And now that we've mentioned it, that actually got me curious as to how many of you guys would actually want something like Samsung's The Frame for your home. Please do let me know in the comment section below. So that brings us to the end of this video. Guys, I will have everything linked in the description below. I will also have gadget recommendations linked down there. Be sure to check them out. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next video.